What's going on, y'all? It's me again, MD Mills, aka Ancient Wizard. I got another video for y'all. I'm doing the ancestor uh, guided messages for today. Well, well, what you need to hear right now, not just today, because it's all timeless readings, okay? So, if you got the An Anunnaki ancestors, this is going to be your reading, all right? If you have Anunnaki ancestors, okay? So, I'm going to pull an oracle card for y'all, too. But I'm not going to pull an oracle card first. We're going to go into the tarot and see what is going on and what is needed. Okay. What is going on and what is needed. What is going on, Spirit? Okay. What is going on, Spirit? Okay. What is needed, Spirit? What is needed? Spirit, what is needed? Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. We got that there. We don't have that there. It's, it's in between both of them. Um. y'all see these cards let's see can y'all see can y'all see okay so the first thing we got out is the eight of wands we got the two of swords three of wands and the strength okay so what's going on it could be communication about a decision to uh, look at other options or to like I'm getting a uh, look into taking a different direction or a different approach and with the strength card here what I'm really getting is like you're having strength to do so or you are it's, it's something that's going to help you build your strength when it comes to something. Now, I'm also getting like, I'm also getting a family unit. You could be strengthening a family unit. What else is going on here, Spirit? Sheesh. That's too many cards, but the Six of Pentacles dropped out here. Given to a, so it's like, it's, it's like, um, it's like communication about a decision to give to a situation and I'm hearing that it will be victorious. You got the Ace of Swords that fell, and you got the Three of Wands that fell. Yeah, you got the Three of Wands twice from different decks. So it's like you are observing a situation from a different perspective. Um, it could be with three people involved. It, it don't have to be. You got Five of Pentacles in reverse. The truth about five of pentacles i'm getting that if the truth about it is it's like you're you're not the truth is that you're not going to leave someone in the cold the truth is that you know with the with the eight of cups well i see eight of cups here too so it's like you're not going to leave somebody in the cold and you could be walking away from a mindset of just leaving someone in the cold or this also could be that you you want to leave somebody in the cold or you're thinking about it or you have been in the cold. That's what that's another truth, too, that you have been in the cold.
for a minute. Like when I say being in the cold, being left out, like somebody was uh, treating you and leaving you left out of a situation, but it's like you having the strength to get, get through it. You feel me? Like that's the truth. Especially with this eight of cups here. Let's see what else is on the bottom. Uh, you got the page of pentacles. It's like you walking away from a small offer with the moon. It's like, cause it was, it was secrets behind it and toxic toxicity behavior behind it that had people in they in their head about a love situation. And, and especially when it comes to something that you can celebrate, because it's like, I'm feeling like everybody wasn't getting what they wanted out of the situation. Now we got the queen of cups. It's like, but you was, you was very, uh, you was very nurturing and caring to, you know what I'm saying? Like you was very nurturing and caring to caring to this person. And it's like, I'm getting that they are now getting the truth and clarity about this situation to start moving forward. And like you, you are in the energy of, you know, like, should I even give to this situation or should I even continue to just do things the way I've been doing things? Because it's, it's just, it's, it's just something that, you know, that wasn't the best experience. Now, what is needed is it's a six of swords, the tower on the devil with the seven of cups with the queen of swords here. So it's like what's needed is moving away from. I keep getting traditional or toxic behavior. Toxic behavior with the devil card. Traditional traditional um <clears throat> viewpoints with the devil card. Contract, some type of some type of bounding situation you need to leave from that. Or you you are <clears throat> you are in the energy of moving forward away from that. And it could be this even could be family. You know, like the devil card is family. The devil card is also uh toxic connections, uh, karmic connections that were meant to teach you something in this lifetime, you're leaving from those type of um, behaviors or that type of uh, contract or bondage or, you know, tie. I'm even hearing soul tie. It's like you're leaving from, and when I say leaving from that, it's like you may, it may not even be that you have to walk away from this person completely. I'm getting this like, even just a mindset or even just, you know, dealing with them on a certain level, you're, you're going beyond that. You know what I'm saying? Like the devil I'm getting, I'm, the way I'm feeling this, like it could be attitudes. It could be, um, you know, just toxic traits that somebody have patterns, um, things that you know, that's not going to help bring you forward in life. Like, you, you're walking away, well, sailing away from that. You're going to calmer waters when it comes to that. Like, you're allowing yourself to, one, be isolated enough to connect with the divine. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you have spent some time to yourself just being able to observe and something something could do with, something could have something to do with, uh, I want to say the stars. Because... The three of wands has got it's got this uh you see with the three of wands it's got this this uh what do you call that? Um what do you call that? I guess spaceship. But you also got the six of swords with this space card too. So it's like you could be dealing with an Aquarius when it comes to space. Space Aquarius has something to do with space, but you also could be dealing with something that is like of a star quality because not not only that you also got strength here and that's that's leo card like you could be dealing with a, a leo as well um or you could have both of these in your chart as well um we got scorpio here with the tower and also the seven of cups could be dealing with scorpio um but yeah and you also could be dealing with a Capricorn with these pinnacles, the devil, you know what I'm saying? 
Six of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. You know what I mean? So it's like <clears throat> you just you cutting out. I feel like it's that you cutting out of illusion. And you got the four wands here, perfection. And you got the daughter of earth, which will also be the page of pentacles again. So it's like you also giving an offer to a situation. It's not a small offer. It's just more like you get, it's like, it's something that's small that could be big. Cause see this game here. And then you got the 10 of cups here too. So it's like, I'm getting this an opportunity. You given the opportunity to like, what's needed is to give an opportunity for things to be of growth, for things to grow, for things to become more abundant. And that will lead to your 10 of cups, like a happy family, you know what I'm saying? Happy family, happy thoughts happy days, you know, like, I'm just saying things can be a lot better than what they are right now, especially with the four wands, it's like a marriage involved, you could be, you know what I'm saying, with you just walking away from toxic patterns or mindset, you could be allowing yourself to be granted opportunities to grow and to have, uh, you know, uh, just, just peace and happiness overall, you got the hermit here, and it, and it could be something that will have you in your own enlightenment. You know what I'm saying? Something that you can, because you, like, you'll notice that you'll have more care. You'll be able to walk into the, the you'll be able to have the uh, hone in on just being able to care for things or be more caring because your life will be much more peaceful. So it's like nurture, nature, caring, and, and happiness kind of goes hand in hand because we are happier when we are cared for. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like when you care for, you care for others. You know what I'm saying? Which Whatever you receive, you also put out. So that's why they always say, you know, it's important to watch what you intake because whatever you intake, that's what you're going to output. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like that's what's needed. You feel me? Like for, for you to just rid yourself of these mindsets and stuff like that, like, if it's from you, it could be from the person that you're dealing with as well. So I'm going to go in. We're going to go here uh, and do a, a Oracle card. Let's do an Oracle card. What else? What other orchid card do you have for the Anunnaki bloodline of the viewer who was watching? All right, we got transformation at the bottom of the deck. So you could be going through a transformation right now, ether, and you got to reclaim your energy. So you could be, you could be, uh, feeling like you are in the energy of needing to regain control or regain power for yourself. It says the seamless unspeakable, number 11, the ether. So if you've been seeing 11-11 a lot, this that is that is signals for you meeting your divine match that is also signals for you having your divine match also 11 you could be seeing 111 you could be seeing 1011 i don't know what 1011 means but i do know that the number 11 is very significant because it's like it's it's a pair it is a pair so you could be mirroring someone right now as well or or something could have been trying to be of a mirror like projection and that's that could be something that you have to reclaim your energy from projections you know what i'm saying someone could be have trying to project 
whatever that they was feeling onto you. And it's like with you reclaiming your energy, it's like you stepping into the energy of saying, look, I know what it is I need to do. I know what it is that I want. I'm going to stand for that. And if you want to deal with me, then, you know, you're going to have to do whatever to get your energy together for this or for that. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that, like something along those lines. I know that's, that resonates for someone of y'all, like for someone who's watching this. Um, also, wings. Wings could be very significant. Uh, you could, for some of y'all, y'all are definitely a, a winged species. So whatever celestial body that you have, you have wings. One of y'all are a wing, or some of y'all are winged beings that have lived lifetimes being a winged being. Hmm. Y'all could have a connection to birds, but I'm not getting too many birds. I'm getting dragons, too. Wings. Small wings, big wings. For some of y'all, y'all have a big connection to a lot of animals with wings. Or insects, even. Giraffes. For some of y'all, I'm hearing giraffes. Even though that's not a winged being, I'm getting the long neck, giraffes, uh, something long neck. Someone could have a long neck. A long neck could be very significant. But reclaim your energy, and that's going to cause a transformation. Let's see what else. With a 33 master number, journey to wholeness. That's what you're on right now. You're on a journey to wholeness. You're you're on a journey to completing a major chapter in your life that, you know, was incomplete at one point in time. So, like, this is also, this is a good reading in my, in my uh, opinion. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, and you got unique gifts here, you know? Like you have you have unique gifts that you are supposed to be sharing with the world, so it's like you you have to heal and you have to work through some of these things or issues or like things that you know is going to uh, hinder the growth. You know you have to work through those things. Like you have to be an example for others because you have a bigger mission in this life. You know what I'm saying? You have a huge purpose. And a lot of it is to guide the youth because the youth is about to be like in a whole different realm than what you and me and, you know, a lot of our uh, ancestors as far as like generations before us have went through. Because this is the, this is, we're going into a time where the veil has already became thin. So it's like uh, magic and thoughts and everything, all the other realms, they're going to be easier to be accessible. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we're bringing in a different time of where reality is, is imagination. You know what I'm saying? Like at one point in time, it's it's like this. It's like manifestations will become a lot faster because that realm is becoming less separated. You feel what I'm saying? Like the 3D realm, they talk about 3D and then 5D and stuff like that. Like no matter what the D is, what dimension it is, you feel me? Like everything is starting to come together. And for it to be coming together, we're also... The, the closer we, we work on ourselves and, and allow for other things to come together, which will be aligned, the more we also witness the, the outside, which is our external, being able to come together and be aligned as well. And it be just one. That's what we're coming to. We're going to one. Oneness. Wholeness. You feel me? So that's what I have for you. You know what I'm saying? I rock with y'all. I love y'all. I really want y'all to, you know what I mean, be on y'all path like and actually 
actually, you know, fulfill your dreams and fulfill all your desires. You feel me? Like, I'm just trying to help. You feel me? Like, like real talk, because not everybody has these certain ancestors, you know what I mean? Anunnaki ancestors. But a lot of the Anunnaki has been get, have got a bad name, too. And it's like, we all are not. And I say we all because, you know, you never know who you have uh, connections to or what species you have connections with until you actually do your research. And if you resonate with it, then you resonate like it's it's like sometimes that's how you find out more about yourself is when you explore. You feel me like that's just how that is. So for some of y'all. This could even be your first reading where you realize you connected to ans uh, the Anunnaki. You know what I mean? Like this could be the first reading that you listen to that you actually resonate with that allows you to feel like, okay, wow, I might need to look up Anunnaki a little bit more because I'm I'm resonating with this and I didn't even know that, you know, I had these ties or connections or connections. You know what I mean? Like that, it's like that. But like I said, I love y'all. Y'all stay safe, stay positive. And much peace and love. All right, till next time. One hundred. I feel anointed. It's gonna bring out whatever you keep in dormant. I work for money, now money work for.